Let us talk about C++ programming language. C++ was first released in 1985. If you compare C++ with other programming languages, other popular programming languages like Java and Python, C++ was released much early. It's a much older language than Java and Python. For example, Java was released in 1995, 10 years later than C++. And C++ is, is still one of the most used programming languages. Not used as much as Java and Python. Java is used much more in industry and Python is also used much more in industry. But C++ is, is still useful. And if you talk about competitive programming, it is, is still the most used programming language among the competitive programmers. And also used in software development. The reasons for its applications or its for, for its uses in software development are it allows low level programming or system level programming and its speed of execution or you can say requirement of less resources. C++ was mainly released as an extension of C programming language and C programming language is one of the oldest high level programming languages. The main thing about C programming language is it allows you to do hardware access. For example, it has pointers. It has functions to directly access the hardware. And C++, since it's kind of superset of C, it has all those functionalities with it. You have pointers, you have direct memory access functions. So C++ is a programming language that allows you to C style of programming where you can access hardware, you can access memory using pointers, also allows you to do high level of programming or design softwares because it supports object oriented programming as well. Not only object oriented programming, there were many other things which were added in C++ which were not there in C programming language. And that's why C++ became really popular for software development as well. The features for example, generic programming, you can design one code and you can use it for multiple types. C++ has a feature called templates that allows you to do generic programming. Generics is also there in Java, but being an old programming language, C++ also has it. Generic programming is one thing, exception handling. C++ has support for exception handling, which was not there in C programming language. C++ also has richer library than C. For example, the standard template library or STL library, which implements all the standard data structures and algorithms. It was there, it was added in C++. It was not there in C programming language. Not only STL, there are many other libraries which are present in C++ for game development and many other things. Let us now talk about some real world applications of C++. It is said that the browsers like Chrome and Firefox, they are written in C++. Apart from these, most of the operating systems, compilers, device drivers, they are either written in C, which is a subset of C++ programming language or written in C++. Finally, if we want to compare C++ with Java and Python, Java and Python are obviously used a lot more compared to C++ industry. But if you are working in an environment where you have less memory, or you want to work close to hardware. For example, if you're writing device drivers or writing some network hardware applications, or you're working in an environment like embedded system where you have less memory or less processing power, then C++ would definitely be preferred over languages like Java and Python.